what is up guys welcome to the big unbox where we do that small tech and today i am back with another big unboxing for you for the oneplus 7 pro and today we're back with the official carbon protective case to unbox do a quick review as always i'll throw up the link in the video description if you guys want to check it out pricing on this one is going to be steep 34 bucks so you're definitely going to pay more than last year's version at least for the 6 or the 6t so we'll see together if it's going to be a hit or miss. I already did the review. You guys can check that one out for the protective case. And I was really not impressed for the protective case for the sandstone version just because of the lack of protection that you actually got with this. So we'll see this one is going to be a hit or miss. And we'll compare it to not only the protective case, that's the sandstone version, but we'll also compare it to the official carbon bumper case that's well, exactly like this would give you more protection so let's check out the presentation got the little one plus branding up top clean white box got a little white or you got a little one plus seven pro logo at the bottom that's pretty much it in terms of presentation really not too much to it so let's go and get to the unboxing guys and see if it's a hit or a miss for the one plus seven pro put that to the side all right so this is going to be the carbon Again, this is going to be the carbon version of the official cases. And look at that. It does look gorgeous. You can see that material is soft to the touch. You got the OnePlus logo looking clean with the white right there. Now, camera protection has been a negative for a lot of these official cases, for me at least. And as you can see, you're probably not getting too much raised edges around the sides as well on this one. But we'll check it out together, guys, just to confirm. But this feels so nice to the touch. Very beautiful top is exposed bottom parts exposed and then on the interior it's got this very nice material as well you got the oneplus logo and it's just a little subtle difference in terms of material difference on the inside but it's very soft to the touch where it feels like it's going to give you some nice natural feeling to the phone unlike this is the other version the sandstone version where it's got like this hard plastic and you guys can see this is just some basic plastic where this has a nice soft feel to it so this one's going to be 29 bucks this one's going to be 34 bucks you're paying a little bit extra for the carbon version of this one but you know it depends on what your what your preference is but we'll check this out together let's pop it into place hopefully looking legit look at that so you're gonna have the black on that Ooh, that looks beautiful. So I got that gray version of the OnePlus 7 Pro. And as you can see, that carbon fiber looks beautiful with it. It's just very, very subtle. Just how good it looks. Very nicely done. Now the camera protection, oof. This is a, it is raised up just a little bit. I think you're getting a little more camera protection on this version than you are on the sandstone version where there's absolutely none. This one's not raised up at all. This one you're getting just a little subtle raised edges. You can see right there. It's raised up just enough. So it's giving you some, I'm not even going to say decent protection. But you can see with the protection that you're going to get from the camera. Give you guys a couple different angles of that. Because I know that's important to me at least with that big boy camera. I want to give you some camera protection. That's probably the best view of it right there. You can see it's raised up just enough where you're getting a little bit of camera protection. Grip wise it feels really nice to hold. It adds zero bulk to the actual phone itself, but keep in mind you do have that top that's going to be exposed and the bottom exposed. Now, let's check out the lip because everybody likes a fat lip and this has really got no lip protection. The only protection you're going to get on these four corners that's raised up just enough. So if you drop it, you're going to hope it hits those corners, but let's be honest, you're exposed at the top, you're exposed at the bottom, and then all your ports and sides are exposed like the the outlets right there so that's probably going to be a ding you're going to ding up the phone to me that's just not worth it i would probably go with the official carbon bumper case spend an extra five bucks if i was you guys volume up and down is exposed so it's clicky and responsive and as you can see the bottom part is exposed so you have no issues at all getting to any of the ports alert slider easy access no problems because it's cut out so hmm so let's be honest. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is a tough call for me. I would I called this one a miss, the sandstone version. I'm gonna say this one's a mini hit because it's giving you better camera protection. That's it. Otherwise, I would say let's check this one out. This is the I put it back in this box. Throw this way. This is gonna be the uh, official carbon bumper version. And uh, to me, I think this is probably worth the extra five bucks. Let's check this out because what you're getting is you're getting just a little bit more protection tops covered up 
the bottom's covered up, and it's really not adding much more bulk. It's got the same functionality, but it's going to give you more protection than this one for just an additional five bucks. So I'm going to say it's a mini hit, and it's probably going to be only a mini hit for anybody that just really wants bare bone protection. It's not really worried about any drops, except for maybe some decent scratch protection on the back. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Is it a hit? Is it a miss? I'd probably go with the official carbon bumper version over the protective version. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.